Right, we are at Tunstall and we've got an hour to low tide and there's a few rocks showing. So, I'll get down on the beach and see if we can find some So, straight down on the beach, tiny little ammonite there. Focus, yeah, probably some sort of you, I guess, or something, but quite a big block. I'm not going to take that too small, afraid. After bigger things, yeah, plenty of uh, clay showing, which is what we want. This boulder clay, it's 19,000 years old, uh, deposited at the uh, the last ice age, and what it did, it scooped up all the rocks, dragged them along, and deposited them here on the Holderness coast. So, I'm just looking for the nice fossils. There's a lovely devil's toenail. Not a bad little one that is it, a little pocket fossil. Hopefully I'll leave that for hopefully some kiddies about. No, no bombs on this bit. It didn't have any of the crustaceans on the bomb like they usually do. And then there was a second tail as well, so I pulled that out and it was exactly the same. At least it was you like didn't... blue and black temping bowling. At least, you, at least you didn't blow up. That was like an elegantisserus block, does that? I'm going to give that a little tap and see. I don't think they'll be out in it, but you never know. No, I don't think so. Just looked like it. There's a sign of a worn out Pleuroceros. Actually, it's well gone that. We'll just tap it to make sure there's no else inside. Another lizard. So, some more uh, shelly nodules here. That looks like it could be interesting. Cross section of an ammonite on that one. That's the shelly one as well. There's a shelly one here as well. Give these a bash down and see if there's all in them. Yeah, all empty I'm afraid. So never mind. Move on and find some more. The Holderness coast is in the east riding of Yorkshire. It's this coast here and it starts in the north at Flamborough Head uh, where all the chalk is and it goes to the south uh, to Spurn Point. Uh, it's approximately 37-38 miles long um, and consists mainly of uh, glacial till and underlying chalk. Uh, Tunstall's located here, uh, Withensees to the south, Hornsees to the north. Access is through the uh, Sandlemer Holiday Park, uh, where you need to walk through the Holiday Park, being respectful to the Holiday Park people, obviously. And access is there just to the south. Right, so, just taking along uh, a walk along the uh, cliff side, there's not much in the way of pebbles this way, so. Big patch of rocks uh, just at the uh, get down point, but obviously the closest point to the uh, caravan park are going to be uh, pretty well picked through. But uh, you never know, there could be something in there. The day's having a good look at uh, those rocks, and uh, I'm going to walk on this way a bit and just see if we can find any more patches of uh, boulder fields along this way. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, quite sandy which is expected this time of year we're not quite into the, the rough uh, winter storms yet but really what we want, want to find is a, a nice patch of rocks poking out that we can start looking through you can see there's a fair bit of cliff erosion this is the uh, fastest receding cliffs in Britain I think so we usually lose about, lose about five meters a year and uh, it's all boulder clay deposited say 19,000 years ago uh, obviously the sand's covering some of the cliff and the boulder clay extends out into the sea which is why it so always looks a little bit brown around here does the sea because it's all the suspended uh, clay sediment but quite often the fossils come down in these uh, clay deposits uh, get washed out to sea the sea does its work does all the sorting and sifting and then uh, deposits all the uh, the pebbles in a similar area usually it's quite interesting to see uh, how the sea does its sorting it uh, Quite often you'll find a big patch of metal and uh, yeah, it's all uh, uh, iron, everything iron, uh, that sort of uh, weight seems to collect in a little pocket. Same with pebbles. So yeah, we'll look along here, 
anything of a decent size we'll have a look at because it might be an anioceros block or another shelly block and uh, I'll get back to you when I find something if I find something who knows yeah so might spy my first bit of rock field that's emerging out of the sea so there are definitely some some rocks over there so we'll go have a look at those Right, so just get into this boulder field, let's hope we can find some nice fossils in it. So some nice shelly blocks, that's what we want. See what we can find in it. Only just emerging from the sea, I think there's some more down this bit as well, so the tide is still going out just at the moment, but probably not for much longer. Yeah, we'll have a look at these, see if we can find anything. Okay, so first interesting block of the day broke a bit funny unfortunately but there is quite a nice little laminite in there look probably a probably an arneoceros unfortunately that one's broke but I think there's a little one there as well so it's uh, unfortunately that's it's just not broke very well at all yeah weird it's just disappeared as the rest of that one so yeah I'll take uh, I'll give this one another bash and I'll take that one because there's at least two in there which are quite nice you never know there might be more in it and there's a lovely bit of crinoid there quite a lot in that block nice I think that's a semisolatum Yeah, it looks like, it? Fat enough, isn't it? Muddy kind of colour as well. I'm going to have to split it because it's a... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. No, unfortunately, that semisolatum has over calcified, so you can see it's not actually preserved. It's just big calcite crystals. So, yeah, never mind. There you go. Oh, focusing. Lovely little Dave Dak. Well, what's left of one? Are uh, you going to split it or are you taking it home? Split it. Is it going to be uh, Killed it. all there or is it going to be uh, dead? Yeah. Is that a finger? No, it's a wish. Uh, oh no, it's there, innit? Oh, it has. Oh, uh, got your finger. I oh, know. What was that for a duck? Duck injury. Nice bit of coral. It's actually running. You can see all the polyps there They're actually running along the block. You can kind of see some of the detail there. It's quite cool. Especially especially there. Quite good. Well, let's spot the duck time. Lovely pebbles. Can you see the duck? There it is. Quite a fat one as well. Not bad. Hmm. Interesting. There's a bit there as well. I think that one goes round. So I won't tap that, I'll put it in the bag. Right. Is an ammonite that's been there. Is there anything else in this block? That is the question. It's quite a thick one. Not seeing any more keels. So, a bit of bash and see. Never know, might be one, one in there. The answer to that is no, nothing inside it, just on the surface. Never mind. Oh, stuck in a trader. Half a vertebrae. Yeah, that's been rolling around a while. Well, so, quite good. It's turning into a... You've got a radioactive stone. <laughs> Very green. Yeah, it's turning into a duck bay, isn't it? Very nice. Yeah, a little block. And you can see on there, there is a small ammonite. And another one there. So, give it a tap and let's see what's in it. 
So Arnie's are notoriously sticky. That one's exploded. It was nice calcite, unfortunately, but I think there's another one there. Just looking at that, there's some ribs. You can just see there. So there is another one in there, I think, pretty much. So I'll take that so it can be prepped out. Hopefully that will all be there. And that'll be nice. Yeah, another chlorocerous block there. You can see where the ammonite has been. Don't think there'll be all else in that though. Yeah, there won't be one in there. So I just give that rock a bash and look at that. What a lovely little gastropod in there. That's very nice. Lovely jubbly. Nice. Yeah. Another small arnie block by the looks of it. You can see there's a worn out one there. But have we got any others? Looks like it might be just full of small ones. Mm. Time for a tap, I think, just to see. Oh, that's a nice one. So I've just uh, popped that little bit of rock off. You can see there, that's uh, Arneoceros Miserable. And there is some lovely keels poking out there of more Arneoceros inside there. So that block's loaded, so that'll be nice, that. Lovely little multi-block. Another little Arneoceros block. You can see him in the side. And on top, this is the sticky stuff though, so I'll give it a tap to see what happens. Yeah. That one's a shame. That is a worn out Pleurotomeria angelica or one of the ones. That's a real shame, is that? Yeah. Big marine gastropod. Never mind. Okay, quick roundup, so not loads today, but uh, lovely little gastropod. See that there, that's going to prep out quite nice. Don't know if there'll be any more of these in this one, but yeah, not often you get nice little gastropods in this stuff, but you do get occasional ones. Ubiquitous DAC, looks quite a thick one, so that should be in there. We've got that side as well, so that's in there. I'll have a little go prepping that later. Now I've got my air tools back and up and running. That one is a little Arnie block, but I think there's another Arnie just there, you can see. Part of the out, well, part of the outer world just here, so that'll probably go around and back in. So there'll be a nice little arnie in there. Don't see anything from that side, but yeah, hopefully there's just one in that. This one, yeah, there's definitely uh, a couple in there. Could be a few more. Uh, definitely, if you look from this side, you can see a cross section there. So makes me think there'll be more in it, but um, never tell with these. Yeah, I think there's sort of Arneostras, I think. Looking at that, it's usual type. And then, the last one is this one, so, yeah, again, Arneostras, a nice one there. We've got little ones here, got some bigger keels poking out there. It's a nice little block, so you can see that they run all the way through. So when you see them both sides, usually means they're packed. So I think these might it might be another Cridoides block which are quite sticky and hard to prep but might get that one done. Should be quite nice actually. There's, a, there's quite a few in it by the looks of it which uh, would make quite a nice piece especially if I stick stick that one back on there. Should hopefully uh, prep out from the other side so a little layer of them going through. Could be good. Yeah, there we go. Not so bad. As ever, uh, some of this stuff don't keep everything. You know, as a, a fossil hunter, really, uh, the shelves aren't big enough to keep everything. So, if people are wanting a bit of unprepped material, uh, do check out uh, the web shop. It's uh, fossiliferous.onlineweb.shop, or DM me on Facebook, Instagram, etc., um, and I'll let you know what I've got. All helps to support the channel. Get me out to. Uh, new sites, make more videos and um, subsidise my uh, pr preparation of fossils. Uh, just been in the shed, tidied this one up, there was just a couple of ribs showing. Lovely little calcite ammonite that, just looks like an Arneoceros. Uh, yeah, really difficult to tidy up because these little ribs 
uh, hold the matrix. So I have popped a couple, but uh, all good practice. I think probably I'll send that, that off for tidying up uh, somebody a bit more professional than me. Because uh, it's a nice little am uh, ammonite, is that really? So, yeah, quite pleased with that. 